hi guys welcome back to my channel vlog talk where we vlog and talk and we are going to get right into a word of prayer let us pray father god we just come before you to say thank you lord we thank you for being alpha and omega thank you for being faithful god thank you for allowing us to to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it thank you for just again being faithful we thank you for your grace and your mercy which is sufficient to all the sea god i thank you lord god i personally would like to say thank you lord thank you for waking me up this morning closed in my right Father, mind we just come before you to say thank you and let's just go ahead and worship him in tongues in the name of jesus father god hallelujah lord thank you father thank you father god hallelujah give him the praise thank you father god thank you thank you lord thank you father god now lord let something be said in me and through me that may leap in the viewers wounds causing them to never be the same in jesus name and all that agree said amen it's always good to give god the praise so our title for today is speak speak we're coming from the text of psalms 107 verses 1 through 2 oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercy endure forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. God says that let the redeem of the Lord say so. This word came to me this morning. I said, oh my God, you want me to talk about speaking things into an existence. And I'm going to tell you real quick. I remember when I was in my bathroom. I was in the mirror doing something. And the Lord began to speak to me. He talked about having faith. And he led me to the scripture of Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. And the Lord told me that scripture. And I'm just like, Lord, you know what? That's right. I definitely had to be mindful to keep the faith. I started to think about Abraham. See, Abraham didn't have to toil for anything. He just believed God. And it was so. He believed God. So his name changed. From Abram to Abraham. Hallelujah. Why? Because he believed God. So Abraham, whose name was Abram, went from not having probably anything at all, probably living in lack, to now living in abundance, to being a father of many nations. So he went from not having any children to having a multitude of children. Now that has a lot to do with the covenant vow with the Lord. You definitely have to have that interconnection with the Father in order to reap his benefits, right? Forget not all his benefits, right? But you got to get but you have to get into the kingdom to attract those benefits just like Abraham and you have to take his word and mix it with faith when you hear it. And so when we mix it with faith, we have to call things that be not as though they I can tell you some things about my car, about my home, all of that i had i remember that i actually went to go get a housewarming gift y'all okay i went to go get a housewarming gift and i didn't tell anybody about it there was this you know people were just looking at whatever you know when i was in the store trying to purchase the item or whatever but i didn't care because i was in faith and do you know about uh, i want to say about three four months later after purchasing the housewarming gift the house manifested let me oh listen I didn't own that house. I was renting that house at the time. But this house that I'm believing God for is the house that I'm just having faith that I own this supernatural home. And so what I did was, and I'm actually going to share this with you guys. And I know this may sound kind of crazy, but sometimes you have to have crazy faith. I bought this as another housewarming gift uh, in regards to the house that I'm believing in God for. So I bought this housewarming gift. It says, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. And this is my housewarming gift to myself because I believe that God is a provider. And according to Deuteronomy, he has blessed me with houses filled with all good things, which I feel not. And it's so, it's this, it's kind of shaped like a home. If you really look at it, at the triangle shape at the top and then that square shape at the bottom. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Today's date is... This is April the 5th, 2021, and I'm not sure what time it is right now. I think it's probably almost 4, 4 o'clock. But anyway, I just wanted to state that because 
you guys remember this video when my house manifests and I blog about my house and how God manifested his glory into my life just getting to know him basically that's what that means manifesting his glory so intimacy coming into the Lord to see his goodness to see more about him to learn more about him if that makes sense so basically to get more familiar with the Lord you'll get more familiar with the Lord to understand who he is a little bit better if that makes sense but anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys so when I get ready to vlog about my new home that God is manifesting then you guys will look back at this video and see oh man I remember that she vlogged about this so it's just gonna be another testimony for me and just like he manifested my car I stepped that on faith to get that and I didn't tell anyone anything I did things that people that the average person would not do but I did not care because I was in faith and so I remember that my pastor always stated to start in faith stay in faith and finish in the faith and that's exactly what I did and I was able to get the car God will always watch over his word to perform it so that's the reason why we could bet our lives on it according to Proverbs 18:21 one life and death is in the power of the tongue so it is our responsibility to speak the word only because we have the power of life and death in our tongue um just like jesus walked past that fig tree and he spoke to that thing now the tree didn't wither away the same day but that didn't move god because he knew he had what he said you understand see god is not moved by what he see and we can't be moved by what we see either we speak to that fig tree in our lives whatever that fig tree may be whatever the situation is speak to that fig tree in your life and that thing has to obey you it should obey you the bible says and god's word never returns to him void so if we speak his word then we should know that his word is not going to return back to him void it's going to accomplish that which it please it's going to prosper into the thing where to he sent it come on now it shall prosper into the thing where to he sent it that's 55 and 11 isaiah 55 and 11 think about that his word shall not return void it's not going to come back void to him now our word will come back void but not his and that's why he said speak the word only just like the centuron he said you don't need to come to the house but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed hallelujah what about all the people that he healed in syria with his word right so he healed them with his word. He should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceed out of his or her's mouth, right? So we're not just going to live by bread alone, but what we speak, whatever we speak, then so shall it be. So you're either going to live by the sword or you're going to die by the sword because life and death is in the power of your tongue. I actually want to share um, actually two more scriptures with you in the Hebrews 10, 23. So Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 in the NLT translation says, God can't be trusted to keep his promise. So whatever God spoke to you, he can be trusted. Rest assured he can. I love that. See, I took that for myself. And Proverbs 3 chapter 13, it talks about guarding your mouth. Because if you guard your mouth, it will preserve or protect your life. So if you keep your mouth, you're going to see good days. Another scripture says, so you have to keep your tongue in order to see good days. You're either going to bless yourself or you're going to curse yourself with words. God tells us also to call things that be not as though they were. Why? Because that is how we see manifestation. We have to be persistent. And the Bible also talks about unswervingly means non-changing. God is non-changing. He's a non-changing God. He stays the same. He is persistent. He is not weak or any of that. So his word would never change. You have to call things in order to see the desires show up in our lives. I trusted that you enjoyed that teaching. I'm going to ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm also going to ask that you hit that notification bell so that you may be posted on each time I post a video. All right, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me if you desire to have the power to speak things into an existence. You can have the power because it works for whosoever, but when you are in the kingdom or in the family, in the God family, I believe that it works, it works swifter. And it's more powerful that you have more power when you are in the God family. And with that being said, if you desire to get into the kingdom today and give your life to Christ, repeat after me. Dear Lord, I come to you now just as I am. You know my life. You know how I've lived. Forgive me, Lord. I believe that Jesus died and rose 
the third day. Hallelujah, you are saved. Now I'm going to speak to your minds, minds, all is well with you. Now I'm going to speak to you, the human spirit. I challenge you today to open up your Bibles and find out more about all that God has promised you and, and find out more about how you can call things into your life. Because if it's not showing up in your life, let me ask you this. Have you called it? Have you spoken to it or have you spoken to people about it? In the midst of doing your research, as it relates to that, give him the praise. You're going to receive a gift called the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to close this out in prayer. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Vlog Talk. And it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk.